Hey, hi friends, today we will going to see a scatter gather with a new plot. So basically what is a scatter gather? A scatter gather means like sending a one message to the multiple places and whatever response we get from all the places, all the destination, we can gather that into the single payload and send back to the client. So there will be a question like uh, when, what, uh, what are the various scenarios where we can use the scatter gather so basically there is a requirement like if you have one message if you receive one message that has to be sent to the multiple places so for that you can use the scatter gather so sometimes it is also known as a multicasting of messages right? the other scenarios like uh, if you want to read a data from various places like database from web services from so uh, from rest apis okay so we can use the scatter gather. So we will going to start with one quick demo. So let me create file new new project. I will say scatter gather app. I will select mule runtime as a 3.8.3. I will keep all settings as a default. I will not going to change anything. Now let me search for HTTP listener. I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into the canvas region. I will configure it in the conductor configuration. I will click on this add button. Okay. I will not going to change anything. I will keep everything as a default. In the path I can give a scatter get. So allow method. What should be the allow method? In this case, we have to send the message and we have to get a response back. Okay. So we are going to use a get method. Now look for scatter gather component in the mule palette. Let me drag and drop. Fine. In, today we are going to see like we are going to fetch the data. We are going to call the web service, uh, soap based web service, and we are going to call REST based web service. Okay. So let me first introduce web service consumer component. Okay. Fine. So uh, drag the web service consumer and drop whenever drop that component whenever you see a black line. Okay. So, so in this video, you will also learn how to consume web service, soap based web service, and the rest based web service. Okay. Let me drag drag and drop another component that is HTTP requester. Now I can see the black line. I can drop it. I will going to configure web service. First, let me find out the URL for the web service. So this web service, this is my URL. Okay. Let me click on this add button. Let me see. Okay. In WSD location, I'm going to paste it and it will automatically populate service, port, and address. Okay. Now you can see the various operations also. Find flight and list flight. In this case, we will going to use list all flight. Now Okay, now uh, we will going to configure the rest full web service. This is my host, so I have to provide the host button. Host name, so for in the conductor configuration, I will click on this add button. I will provide the host name. I have to provide the port number. It should be 80. Now the path. Path is very important. So this is the path. I paste it. What should be method? I have to return the information so I can use the gate. Now, the whatever response we get from web service consumer and HTTP will be different format. So we have to convert, we have to transform that into the, some consistent format. So for that we have to use the transform message. Once you drop the transform message, you can see your input metadata has been automatically generated. So it was saying like whenever you send a request, what type of the output, you, uh, what type of response you will get, that is automatically populated. Now we will define the output metadata. So for that I say add, say flights, JSON, I will say create type. I will select JSON, I will select example, I will go and give a path from where you can pick the example. Mm, it would be flights. Okay. 
I will say select. I'm going to map a line name with a line code with write code. Departure date with departure date. Destination with to airport. Empty set with empty set. Origin with from airport. Plane type. We have a price. Okay. Now we will use one transformation in front of HTTP component. But here you have, cannot see the input and output metadata both. So we have to define the input metadata first. So I will say United JSON create type message JSON. I will say example. I will go and park work and I will pick this example schema. Select for this. I have already defined the flight JSON. I will say a line name flies departure date. Let me find departure date plane type origin plane code flight code empty seats destination to it. Now we have to gather the response from both. So we have to use one more transform message. Fine. And what you have to do? Uh, we will change it here. Application JSON. And I will write just flatten payload. That's it. Say control S. Okay. Let me deploy the application. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's wait till our application is deploying. Okay, the application has been deployed. We can test it now. Let me uh, do some changes. I will say send. So it provides me a one single payload with all the flights available. But now we have to filter out on the basis of destination. Like I want only flight which have a destination CLE. I want to fly it with our destination SFO. So, okay. So, what we can do, we can pass a query parameter from here. I will say destination equals CLE. Let me do that. But still, it, it is not filtered because we haven't handled that query parameter. Now we have to handle the query parameter. What we can do? What I will do? I will go into get the query parameter in the flow variable using message inbound property dot HTTP query parameter. So for that, let me drag and drop variable before get together. I will going to read the destination. I will say destination, or I will say just dest. That's fine, but okay, no. Okay, say destination. Message dot inbound dot HTTP query params dot I can say destination that will be our query parameter name. Right now I will go to list instead of list all flight I will use the find flight. Now we have to map a destination. We have to pass a destination. Right for that what we can do we can uh, we can use the transform message in the front of web service consumer. Okay. So if you open that transform, you can see like it was expecting one parameter destination. And so what we can do, we, can, we have already flow variable here, so we can map with that destination, right? Now, if you see the mess, your map has been broken because we have changed operation. Now let me map it again. Just time mapping it. Okay, and now I have to do for that also. So we can.
pass a destination in a URA param like this. Yes, but it is hard code. Now I have to read from flow variable, then we can pass it in URA. So for that, what we can do? We can do add parameter. What should be that? URA, URA parameter. I will say destination. Then I can read it from flow vars dot destination okay and how can access here simple curly bracket i will say destination okay that's it in this we have to do now i will save it let me check it will deploy again and let me send it should give an error no it should give a cle okay now we can see all the flight with code cle right with destination cle okay. now let me change it lx now we got all the flight related to lx right see now i will say sfo See, now we got a flight related to SFO. Okay, so today what we have learned scatter gather or multicasting of messages. Even in this tutorial, we learn how to control SOAP based web service as well as REST based web service. And we also want to know like how to perform the transform message for that. Okay, so hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.